Hello, I am Neha Basta and uh, today I am going to discuss with you what I know about principle of separation of concern. Let's know about it. It is similar to the hierarchy in the office, not exactly the same, but it is similar. Consider a security guard. Whenever you are entering the office, what he does? He checks whether you are carrying any undesirable thing to the office or not. Whenever you are leaving, he also checks that whether you are carrying a thing that it belongs to the office or not. So basically, he provides security. Now, take the case of manager. What he does? He, respond, he is responsible for handling the employees and their work. He manages whether everyone is doing the work properly or not. And he is completely around the employee stuffs only. Now, you will never see a guard doing manager's task or a manager doing guard's task. They are responsible for their concern only. They will never interfere in each other's work. This is called separation of concern. Doing only the work that is assigned to someone. A class should have a single specific purpose and it should be used for that specific purpose only. It should be easy to extend and update whenever it is required it should be designed in a way that testing doesn't affect it. Like if you are adding some more features, it should not affect that. Now, each functionality should be considered as a separate concern and they should not affect each other. Consider the case of area and volume. Area calculates the area using length and breadth and uh, volume calculates the volume uh, using length, breadth and height. Now, each of the classes have different functionality and they serve the, their specific purpose. Now, if you will mix the area and volume classes in a single class, the use third user that is coming uh, will be confused whether the class is calculating area or volume. And as we have discussed that a single class should serve a specific purpose. Take the example of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Each of them is used for different specific purpose. CSS defines the style of the HTML, like what color will be provided to any div or paragraph or anything, or uh, the font size, the alignment, etc. HTML shows the content to the user, and uh, JavaScript deals with the functionality part, like what data will be displayed, what actions will be taken, or uh, if you are clicking any button, what event will be fired and what actions will be taken on that. The basic thing is that we should keep in mind while using three of them is that we should separate them. We should not keep the HTML, CSS and JavaScript in a single file. Because when the number of lines of the code will increase, it will be difficult for you to manage them. And those three are different concerns and the methodology of separating them is called separation of concern. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.